last time, we learned that not everyone who lives in this alternate version of 1986 is that happy. In fact, a lot of people are uh, quite displeased that they can't publicly uh, display their affections and drink booze. Mostly, I'm, I'm guessing it's the booze that's pissing people off. And to see Doc Brown, we need demerits. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soupmo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more? Yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. More than camping out in the backyard with your parents? You and Jennifer? Really? Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? Well, yeah, and a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now, that dork that let her get away, there's a loser that I got no respect for. What's on the menu? Soup. Just soup? And more. What kind of soup you got? Uh, scrolle... Rivellini? Yeah, that's right. Some things never change. I invented that. What falls under the more category? We got neat loaf. It's made with textured wheat protein. No thanks. What else falls under the more category? Well, there's the hum burger. It's made from pressed roasted hummus. Do you have any real meat back there? Define real. I'm afraid to ask, but what other non-soup food do you have? Anything edible? Well, we have these pea and liver with soy cheese hot dogs. They're new, and we're offering free samples. You want one? Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a D.O.G. running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh, mostly. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little S.O.B. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. See ya. Smell you later. Tiny! Hey! There's that mangy! Go get him, McFly! blue really use the entire can the 
He's got to be hiding in here somewhere. Uh oh, multiple choice. Is he behind the pallets, the fridge, or the table? Let's go with the pallets. You in there, Reiny? Or whatever your name is these days. Not a sign of him. He is a smart dog. And you are a dumb, dumb hero. I rest my case. McFly, you're a real buzzkill, you know that? Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. See ya. Smell you later. Oh, shit. Not again. Well, don't just stand there, McDoofus. Go. Go get him. It's okay, Jennifer, I got this. Now we're in business. I see you, little Smurf. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einy. Look, Einy, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy. Now hold quote, still. Unquote treat. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? I gave you <gasps> soy. Whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Huh? Well, what is it, boy? <laughs> Einstein, wait! Go! Down! Shit! Play dead! Uh, Officer Parker, subdue that beast at once! Einstein, sit! Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen! Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of statute 357K. Arca, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beast. Don't worry, Aini. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble. Unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Chest bump. What is it now? You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. 
You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The Ring of Rock? <laughs> Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. The Ring of Rock involves a Casio electric keyboard. This is a very serious game where you do a move and he does a move to try to show you up. Jennifer rocks out in the background. quite easy to win, all you have to do is get him to kick those barrels out from underneath that to knock the support out of this plank, get him to climb up onto the plank, and then get him to act like a fucking idiot. Martin McFly! That was, that was, that was totally awesome! What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. Mm, uh, you broke my headstock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on, Ed. We'll be right with you. Mm. Organism! Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number- Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? And tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble <clears throat> with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. But hold on. That was too easy. What would have happened if we lost the guitar contest? I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The Ring of Rock? The Ring of Rock. Don't crush rock. him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. You have about five moves to beat this guy. Uh oh. You 
cut my cord, you asshole. Somebody should have cut it a long time ago, McFly. The winner and undefeated champion of Hill Valley. Claim your prize, champ. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Well, back to work. See you, loser. I can't believe you'd let him get away with that. He totally broke the rules. There are no rules in Rock and Roll, Martin. That's why a guy like you shouldn't compete. And the next time you challenge him to a fight... Yeah? I want a rematch. Ooh, you got nerve, McFly. You really want to be humiliated like that again? It's nothing but a poser. I, I got the technique. Your guitar's Do you floating know? in the air. Want a sample? Maybe. If you can beat Leech. I already swatted you once, McFly. Shouldn't you be lying in the gutter? I was, but then your mom threw me out. What you say, my mother? Try not to leave any Whoa. scars, baby. Notices we haven't knocked his planks over yet, or his uh, buckets over yet, so that plank is still secure. So this doesn't work. for a fight we just had one I beat you again mm. <laughs> well that was fun I'll see you later love is a battlefield double humiliation also because I forgot to show it off they bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy What's this? It's just another brick in the wall. No. Oh, okay. Never mind then. But we didn't. We won. And since we won, we got to make out with Jennifer behind that glass and get a lot of demerits for it. So now we've done the uh, the dog and we've done the public display of affection. All that's left is to get some booze. We know Jennifer had some, but she doesn't seem willing to give it up. Well, at least not give up the booze. But we happen to know someone else who has some. Our lush of a mom. Mom? Uh, mom, are you a uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom. It's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying. Always watching. You... You mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad! Mom! Knock it off, you two! Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? 
For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine? No. Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if you weren't suffocating me all the time. Was that an admission? An admission of how smothered I am by you? Oh, I feel bad for Lorraine. Let's see if we can help her out. Yes. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin. Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors and draw. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Lucy. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Well, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me. I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere. Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. McFly! Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty, what's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Already Martin gone. Famous McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it, young Mr. McFly? is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. 
But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps? The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full-ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Corporate Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... What happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Forget questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff! It's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. A cry for help, as it were. Yes. No. Wait. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Ooh. That's in his permanent record. Forget my mother. She's not the issue here. Don't ever forget your mother, Martin. Your parents are your superiors, and respect for one's superiors is absolutely essential to the Hill Valley Order. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. Yes, I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think, think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Sonny Crockett. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. It's kind of a tough sell, Marty. 
No, this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. God, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Uh, yeah, these are general, uh, Marty responses. Um, take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your ma your memory. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Uh... An impressively detailed delusion. Keep talking. It's all the same stuff I saw on my dad's monitors. I think. The whole town is under surveillance. Wow, that is cool. The sound, it... Yeah, it's kind of lulling. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? Making an ass of yourself? I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Glass half full, Marty. Half full. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? I... uh... Bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Proceed. Something about that clock looks familiar. You still got the movie ticket. Indeed I do. A memento of my first date with Edna. I took her to see The Virtuous Husband. And you never saw Frankenstein. You were supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was gonna give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Inspired by Frankenstein? How whimsical. Not to mention historically inaccurate. My dolly wife is all the scientific views I've ever needed. From my successful demonstration at the 31 Expo all the way up to my cutting-edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? It was supposed to be a failure. Yes, clearly in the correct timeline, you were a failure. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I, I do recall something of a sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. You can look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I... I... wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitanik. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? Tell me, Marty. Remember him? Arthur McFly. Your grandfather, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You and I served a subpoena to him back in 31. 
Preposterous. Wow, I never noticed this before, but Edna definitely had the hots for you, didn't she? Hots, yes. Edna was the first member of the fair sex to see something special in me. She saw something, all right, and she ran with it. I'm almost sorry we put Kid Tannen away. We? Yeah, come on, don't you remember? You disarmed him and I trapped him in the rocket car. No, that's not how it happened. Hmm, looks to me like a kid who's all psyched about his new invention. That's where you're wrong. Although my rocket car had accidentally captured Kid Tannen, it was also a widely impractical and dangerous idea that would have triggered unimaginable consequences had I pursued it further. Luckily, Edna came along and channeled my newfound fame into more practical pursuits. So you went from rocket car to brainwashing. Because the rockets were dangerous. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. It is me, and you. But how? Sonny? It's impossible. No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I... Am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe... My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Hedna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Round to you, Sonny. Doc. Kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy, you do that. And until you do, I'm gonna treat your wild story as just that, a story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Aquan's proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Death! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah, ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. My god. So apparently our perfect society is not so perfect after all, and we have to prove it somehow. Perhaps with video cassette evidence. But next time, we'll have to search carefully around this very small enclosed space for something 
that might be a clue as to how George McFly got knocked out. Join me next time.